Hello and welcome to Phase One Cultural Heritage. My name is Yair and I'm the product manager. In this video, I'll be demonstrating, showing and explaining about a feature called the PPI Assist, which is part of Capture One CH. Uh, I'll be using the IXH 150 megapixels. This is a new camera with a new lens. I also have a 25 years old uh, copy stand. This copy stand is just over one meter tall. It has a scale for centimeters as well as uh, inches. It is spring loaded, meaning that uh, it stays uh, stable. It holds the camera where you position it. Um, it's also quite robust, rigid, so there's no vibration or minimal amount of vibration. As you can see, when I move the camera up and down and leave it, it just um, stays there. These are all very important things for a PPI assist. PPI assist, as the name suggests, it assists you in finding the exact positioning of the camera for a specific resolution. It uses the brains in the IXH or IXG cameras, as well as some clever algorithms in Capture One CH. So it can calculate distance and resolution and then guides you uh, by how much you need to move the camera up or down on the copy stand to achieve that exact uh, positioning and resolution. You may have heard about auto column and auto PPI. This is a little bit different. Auto column is a copy stand with an automated uh, column. So it's got a motor and it's remotely controlled. The software can control it and in combination with the IXG or IXH, it can do auto PPI, basically meaning that you set up uh, the required resolution. It will do all the calculations and then it will move the camera for you. So I'll take you through the few steps in Capture One CH and uh, show you how the system works. Here we are in Capture One CH. I will start live view. We can see what the camera is seeing. Uh, first thing is to just focus the camera so that you can measure uh, the resolution. So I'll press the autofocus and you can see the camera actually uses its very accurate, very fine motor. What I can also do is set it up to a very small area and go into 100% and then just do it again. You will see that in the focus tool, I can choose fine focus by holding down the Alt key. So you can see the icon changes. When I hold this down, the camera will only go or will stay inside its um, depth of field. So it doesn't cover the whole uh, range. So go back out. And this one now tells us that we are at uh, just over 1000 ppi. And let's say the uh, requirement for this project was uh, 1200 ppi. Okay, so the next thing I'll do is to type in 1200 over here and click on the little arrows, you can visually see that the camera is now slightly out of focus. I'll just zoom in again, sorry. So it's slightly out of focus, but the lens is set to 1200. Now if I refocus the camera, so if I do this again, you can see that it actually tells me to bring the camera down. Obviously we need to get higher resolution, meaning we need, we need to get closer to the object. And it says 3.72 centimeters. So I'll do it carefully. That's 3.72, so let's say seven millimeters, slightly more maybe. And focus the camera again. Okay. 
Uh, it wants me to go down a little bit more. We're nearly bang on. We can try just one more twizzle. Fine focus. And I think this is going to be bang on. Yep. As you can see, it says at the target. It will also uh, display other things. So you can choose to go with, let's say, field of view or with a specific distance or a specific magnification. And also for display, at the moment I'm watching a PPI, but I can see, let's say, the field of view or the distance or the magnification. Or I can actually see all of them. Okay, now how do we verify that this is exactly what we achieved? So I've already set up aperture, shutter speed and ISO. I did the LCC and all that. So I'll just click the shutter, take the shot. I can come out of live view. Okay, and I've set the capture resolution ruler tool uh, up front, making it easier to work with. I'll zoom in so that I can see one of the rulers. And let's say this is a one inch ruler, a one inch mark. So just press the show. I'm in inches, so I can type in one. Okay, this is one, and I'll then just use the cursor. And you can do it quite carefully. Right, so you pull a line between 0 and 1 and this is what we're getting which I think is quite good this is it the higher the magnification is the easier it is to to do it because you see everything larger on the screen and it's easier for the camera to focus and also the margin of error is uh, smaller if you are two or three meters away from the object then the margin of error grows up a bit but the workflow is exactly the same i can zoom in and move the lines carefully so i can adjust it a little bit better uh, typically you will try to put it in the center of the line so i move to the other side come on and move this one to the center as well and you can see the resolution also adjusts normally if you're working with metamorphose or fudgy you're allowed to stay within say one percent uh, so for 1200 ppi even if i was 12 ppi out of the range i'll still be okay this is ppi assist i hope you enjoyed it i hope you find it uh, useful if you would like to learn more about Capture One CH and you have a smartphone, you can point your camera at the QR code on the screen. It will take you to the Capture One CH page on our website. Otherwise, you can follow us on LinkedIn looking for uh, scientific imaging by Phase One. You can find us on Facebook and you'll see these videos on uh, our YouTube channel. Look for Phase One Industrial. So thank you again, and we'll see you next time.